So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the ultimate red wine sauce. Marcus Waring was quoted by saying, this is one of the best sauces I've ever tasted in the MasterChef Professionals competition about my sauce. I'm gonna show you how to make the ultimate base red wine sauce, which can then be used for other different sauces, other alcohols, but this is a really, really good starting point. Some of the ingredients that we're gonna use in this recipe are not what you would expect. They're very basic. However, if treated correctly, give you a wonderful, wonderful sauce. What we don't want is over reduction to give a horrible mouthfeel. Think too much peanut butter on toast. What we're looking for is a beautiful, shiny, velvety finish, which is easily achieved if you follow this recipe step by step. First of all, we're gonna use a hot pan, a nice deep pan and get it nice and hot. And I've got a shallot and some mushrooms. So we're just gonna quickly whiz through those and get them chopped up. Doesn't really matter how you chop them, but the finer the better. The smaller you chop things, the quicker we cook, which means the quicker we get flavour. So, shallots chopped, nice and fine. A little splash of oil, not too much. If we put too much oil in, the sauce has a tendency to split a little bit later on, which means the oil separates from the actual juice and it's no good. Shallots in. And now we grab some mushrooms, and this is the bit that I really enjoy because I get to show off. So I can look directly at you whilst cooking. If you want to be the ultimate kitchen show off alongside making these incredible recipes, check out my knife skills video on this course. Now, into the shallots, a handful of mushrooms, and then back on a high heat, and we're going to get that cooked right down and caramelised. Next part of this recipe is a really, really unusual one, but believe me, it works. You get a wonderful depth of flavour and a delicious fattiness from this ingredient. We're using chicken wings, believe it or not. Get this from a butcher's, from the shop, wherever, but make sure you've got a good solid knife and be careful because we need to chop these up super fine. Using the heel of your knife, give it a good welly and it'll go straight through the bones. And again, like the shallots, the smaller the better because we're going to get loads of flavour out of these small chunks. Please be careful though, the last thing we want you to do is go through your hand. So now when our shallots and mushrooms are at a caramelised state, now we can add our chicken wings chopped up. So just get them in there. And a little bunch of thyme. And then give that a stir. And you'll hear the sound change. What you're listening for is that sort of frying noise that you associate. And then we'll get these nice and caramelised, want these beautiful and brown and golden before we add any liquid. Absolutely wonderful smell from these chicken wings, shallots and onions. And what we're looking for now is a beautiful caramelisation. You can see there we've got lovely colour, beautiful, golden, amazing. And the bottom of the pan has started to stick a little bit, which is no bad thing, don't panic. There's a little bit of flavour flavour just stuck to the bottom of that pan. And I hear you crying, Matt, how do we get that flavour into our sauce? I'm going to show you. This is called deglazing and it's super simple. A little bit of red wine, I would go for a thick punchy red wine like a Malbec or a Cab Sav. Don't be going for those beautiful light red wines, Pinot Noirs etc, save them for spring. So a little bit of wine, 
and then back on the heat. And then using a spoon, just sort of tease all that flavour, that caramelisation from the bottom of the pan. And you can see now, it's all starting to come away and all that flavour is going back into your sauce. So once we're deglazed, we can add more wine. It's really important to use a good quality wine for your sauce. You wouldn't drink a poor wine. So make sure that you don't put a poor wine into your sauce. I would recommend a Malbec or a Cabernet Sauvignon. They give a beautiful flavour and a beautiful finish. We're going to let this red wine come up to temperature, which by that I mean up to the boil, and then we're going to reduce it by two thirds so it has a lovely sticky consistency. Then we're going to go in with the stock and make a little bit of magic. Our red wine's now reduced by two thirds and you're sort of looking for that. Perfect. So the next part of this recipe is to add the stock. Now this gives the volume, but it also gives the flavor. I've got a good quality light chicken stock. You can make your own. You can equally buy a really good chicken stock from the supermarket. Also a beef stock. Again, you can make your own. Shop local, a lot of butchers do these stocks. If not, you can get them from a supermarket. It's absolutely fine. So then still on a high heat, we go in with both stocks. Do it one at a time and deglaze again. And it might look a little bit funny, but trust me, once you've reduced it, it'll look amazing and glossy. So that's the beef stock and the chicken stock in. Whack it up onto a high heat again. And we want to reduce by half. So we've reduced this beautiful sauce down by about two thirds. Now, what I want to do is remove the shallots, mushrooms and chicken wings. If you leave them in, there's a tendency that the sauce could go cloudy. So I've got myself a fine sieve and a clean pan. And these are just, we're just going to pour this in and capturing all those beautiful bits. Now, don't be tempted to sort of start forcing things through the sieve. Just needs a light little touch. And if you just give it a little tap, you can see it's still coming there. Give it a little shake, but don't, like I said, don't start pushing it with a spoon because you're just going to push impurities through there and you're not going to get a nice finish on your sauce. So when we've got to that stage, we go back onto the stove and you'll see there's not a great deal come from that. So it's probably an idea. If you want to make this for a dinner party or you really like this sauce, Make it in bulk. Times the recipe by four and make the sauce. You're going to get a lot more yield out of it. This is perfect for one, two, three, four people. But if you want to have this accessible in your freezer, in your fridge, times the recipe by four. We're going to reduce this again by approximately half. Should take about five, seven minutes, but keep checking with a spoon. And what we're looking for is the sauce to just coat the back of the spoon. See at the moment, it's not, it's running away. So as the sauce reduces and the liquid gets thicker, it's going to coat the back of that spoon. Be absolutely delicious. And always, don't forget, keep tasting. So our sauce has been reducing for another sort of five or six minutes. And you can see it's retained that beautiful red wine colour and it just looks super rich. And that's what I'm talking about. It's caught in a spoon. It just, and it smells just incredible. And the depth of flavor, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, if I was gonna serve that later on, I would just probably reduce it by another sort of quarter, sort of 25%-ish, but not too much. Because remember what we said, you don't want that claggy mouth feel. Remember the peanut butter on toast. Let's have a little taste. So tasty. And then we can transfer it to a little jazzy pan. Absolutely perfect. 
So you're making a good sauce, doesn't have to be about extravagant ingredients. We've made this beautiful red wine sauce with a good red wine, mushrooms, shallots, thyme, and chicken wings, and stock, and a little bit of love. And that's what it's all about. Follow this recipe step by step and you'll make an absolute banger of a sauce, trust me.